cats can read. Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you my September TBR. So, although I am participating in the Emoji Thon as well as the Contemporary Thon, those two have separate videos, so I will link those down below in the description. I also have other books that I would like to get around to reading in September as well. I know this is going to look like stupidly ambitious because of like the other two readathons, but there's other books like my TBR Jar Challenges and like picking books out of my TBR Jar and so forth, so I can like pick and choose and from this vast amount of books so it's like a new selection of books which just makes me really really happy so first of all as always I'm going to begin with the books that I'm at currently reading so today is actually the very last day of August so I've still got like the rest of today so I could finish any one of these books and the book that I'm actually mostly currently reading is A City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare at the moment I am on page 268 of this book so I passed the halfway mark but I could easily finish this today but just to update you I am currently reading it and I'm really really enjoying it. The other books I'm currently in the middle of is A Sky Painted Gold by Laura Wood. I am on page 182 of this book I'm near enough towards the halfway mark of this book. I stopped reading this like a week or so ago so that I could start City of Fallen Angels, my buddy read. But I am actually really enjoying this. It's definitely got a Gatsby vibe to it with all the flappers and stuff. So I'm really, really enjoying it and I look forward to reading more of this in September. The next book that I'm currently in the middle of is Summer at Hope Meadows by Lucy Daniels. I haven't actually, I don't think, touched this in the month of August. I put it down for the Booktubeathon and the Biennial Bibliothon the previous month before August and I haven't picked it up since. But considering it's got like animals in it and it's like an adult Mandy Hope from the Childhood Animal Arc series, I'm actually really enjoying it. It's kind of got a weird vibe to it, I must admit, but I'm enjoying all the same. So I'm on page 95, so I'm not that far in the book, as you can see, I'm just here. Um, but hopefully I can pick it up more in September. Next of all, I'm also in the middle of reading When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanjay Menon. This has been on a few of my TBRs. I haven't picked it up for a couple of months, actually. And I think that's just purely because of there being like other review books, other important books and readathons. And I am past the halfway mark though, I'm on page 215, so hopefully I can get around to finishing this book in September. The other book that I'm in the middle of, and this would be so easy to actually finish this, this is Badgers in the Basement by Lucy Daniels, book number six, it's in the Animal Arc series, which I am slowly rereading actually, it's like a childhood series, but I put this down because of a readathon that was happening, and I haven't touched it in August. So I'm hoping on finishing it in September. So those are a few books I'm currently in the middle of reading. Now I'm going to move on to other books. So every month I pull out a recommendation for my monthly recommendations jar, which is basically what you guys as booktubers have selected as your top 10, top five, top 20 books of 2017. I have put all of those choices into a bowl and I pull one out every month because I'm basically reading your guys favourite books of last year and I quite like this idea so books are coming out of books that I haven't read before and books that have come out that you know I, that I've got high on my TBR and books I really want to read as well and books I've heard really good things about and so this month's choice that has come out is Omega by Just Accardo. Now I've heard of this book before I've got it as an ebook, so I'll place the picture over here. And I don't really know too much about it, if I'm honest. So it's good that this book has come out because I don't know too much about it and I like having that sort of mystery element to it. So as for viewer's choice, I haven't done a new one because I still haven't read my previous one, so I do apologise for that. I know I've said on the previous couple of months, I will read this book. I haven't, and I'm sorry. So I'm saying it again, it's I Don't Happily Ever After. This was the viewer's choice that you guys picked, and like you're probably like really disappointed in me because you're just like, Katie, hey, you can't even read the books that we have chosen for you. I'm sorry, all right? So I'm hoping, because in September, I really want to get some series like cracked down this is kind of like a duology series, like spin-off 
from like Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door. So they've got like characters from those books in it. So I'm hoping because it's the third and final one of that trilogy that I can get this book read. So a book from my summer TBR because summer pretty much ends like near towards the end of this month. I can't believe like summer's nearly over but it's still kind of sunny as you can see like the sun is still shining so it's not gonna end yet. And so from that TBR I did a video and I've chosen a book from that list for me to read in the month of September. Hopefully I can get around to reading it. I am really excited about reading this book though. That is Save the Date by Morgan Matson. So it's her latest book release and it's got weddings in it and like literally everything goes wrong at this wedding and I literally feel like I'm gonna cringe so much at this book but I'm still really excited all the same because I have read other books by Morgan Matson and I have really enjoyed them. So I have several review books that I need to get around to reading. They have come, I would say, from like three months ago up to about now and I need to get them read and they are of high priority because they are review books. So the first of which is Awakened by James S. Murray and Darren Wearmouth. This book I got a couple of months ago. It's not that big of a book and it sounds really intriguing, like literally just sounds like this ghost train sort of story. It would be perfect to read for Halloween but because I've got it as a review book I should really read it before time and at least I can let you guys know if it is a perfect October read. The next review book that I've got is Heretics Anonymous by Katie Henry. Now I did receive this book in the month of August I believe. I got it like near the beginning and it is already released now. I am told it's very very hilarious. I think Emma Books actually read and reviewed this and she said it was amazing. So um, yeah I'm really excited that I managed to get a copy of this and I would love to get around to reading it. Next of all I've got Jinxed by Amy McCullough who is the author of The Potion Diaries. This book is released now but it sounds really good like really really cool and it's got this like electronic pet that's in it and it sounds amazing like I would love to be in the future where I just have this robotic cat that's so cool and that's the name of it it's called Jinx so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to giving this one a read because it sounds awesome. Next of all I've got Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow by Siobhan Kerham. This book actually I've received in the month of August. This sounds really really good. It sounds like it's got loads of diversity in it. A really interesting contemporary and I'm looking forward to reading this one. Next of all I received Dear Evan Hansen by Val Emich, Stephen Levison, Benj, Pasek and Justin Paul. This is like a musical and it's going to be like the one of the biggest YA books of the year. Obviously among like other like sequels and books that are coming out and The Queen of Air and Darkness and so that. This is just meant to be one of those most powerful young adult books of the year. And this actually comes out I think Oh yeah, it comes at the beginning of October, so if I can read this and get it reviewed way more time, that would be fantastic. And the latest review books that I've received is Small Places by Sarah Epstein, and this is literally about this imaginary friend that um, this person sees take this person away from this area, and then they end up seeing them again like after this incident so yeah it just it sounds interesting and different this book is actually all released now so you can get your hands on that now and the other book from the same publisher is The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton this is the author that wrote The Strange and Beautiful Stories of Ava Lavender and this doesn't come out until September I believe so literally comes out in the month of September and it's really short and this is kind of like a witchy magic-y sort of book as well so yeah so I've got loads of review books to read from three I've got seven books here who knows, this could end up being my TBR for the month, but they are of most priorities, so I have to take those into account. For my TBR jar challenge pick for the month, I got out to read a non-fiction book. So this one, so it's like it's really hard to sort of like pick books with non-fiction because I don't own a lot of non-fiction and so I've had to double up with this challenge unfortunately. I don't like doubling up and so I've already got this as a celebrity memoir which is either a 52 week challenge or the TBR judge, I can't remember which one it is but 
I've put it towards the vet by Luke Gamble because he's like this big old famous vet and this is his book so I've, I've got two challenges to go towards this book so hopefully that will spur me on to read it more but I love animals and veterinary was something I wanted to do when I was younger and I can't because I'm allergic to animal fur so it sucks um but yeah reading about it it will probably like melt my heart and stuff and make me really happy all the same so there we have it with that so the challenges for the 52 week challenges first of all is to read an ebook this can literally go towards any book but i just want to spur myself on to read and finish this book and so i'm going to read the ebook version as well as the physical version of When Dimple Marishi by Slender Man and because I do have the ebook version as well um, so I'm hoping that it will spur me on to read it but I'm going to put that towards this book. This next challenge was actually really hard to find a book with it and um, basically it's to find a book with the a character with the letter K in it um, or even better if I could find a character with my actual name Katie and I literally found a book and that is Midnight Sun by Trish Cook and I couldn't believe that I found it. I've actually already got challenged to go with this book and it's a book that makes you cry because I literally feel like it's going to make me cry so I'm doubling up with this challenge as well and I literally just, I'm really excited that I managed to find a book with a character called Katie and the character, the main character is called Katie. It's perfect. The next challenge is to read a biography now for this one i'm actually going to because i've got script now i've got the 30 day sort of subscription i'm just trying it out there's loads of celebrity biographies on there as audiobooks so i'm literally just going to leave that to a spare on the moment like if i want to listen to some celebrities biography then that would be awesome i know that their biographies are pretty cool i've got scrappy little nobody by anna kendrick on my list so i might actually listen to that but yeah it'd be something different and interesting to listen to whilst going on my commutes to and from work and the final challenge is to read a new author to me this can literally go towards a lot of books that are on this tbr but i've decided to also put it towards a book that i'm currently reading as well which is a sky painted girl by laura wood laura wood is a new author to me so i feel like i can put this towards this very book the next Mortal Instruments series book that I'm going to put towards the month of September is going to be book number two in the Infernal Devices trilogy, which is a Clockwork Prince. As you are aware, I showed you at the very beginning of this video, I'm currently reading City of Fallen Angels and that will be completed, don't worry, because I'm currently reading it and I'm really, really enjoying rereading it. Actually, I read it a few years ago and... I can't remember much about it but luckily because a lot of stuff happened in the TV show in season 3 I can like near enough remember I'm like oh yeah this happened so I'm looking forward to reading Clockwork Prince I haven't read the Unfold of Devices trilogy before so this is the first time reading I really enjoyed the first book that's in this trilogy so I'm looking forward to seeing how this next book is going to go out of my TBR jar of physical books, I pulled out The Lion Game by Sarah Shepard. Now, I watched this first as a TV show before they decided to axe it, but I loved the TV show. I was obsessed with it. I literally went through this phase of I would watch a TV show and then they would cut it and just leave it on a cliffhanger. And I was just like, why would you do that? So I ended up getting the first book, so I could read it and then read the series and then just see how it ended with the book series. So I've only got the first book, but I'm glad that this has come out because it feels like it's a book that I really want to read. And it just reminds me of the TV show now and I'm just like having nostalgic feels for the few years ago when I actually watched the TV show. Out of my ebook TBR jar, which is a really massive bowl because I have loads of ebooks that I've managed to purchase or get for free and or get on deals and stuff and it's like really really awesome. And the one that I pulled out is The Bookshop on the Corner by Jelly Colgan. I think that this was 99p when I got it, so that's really awesome. And it just sounds like a really cute, quirky little ebook, chiclet sort of book. And it sounds cute and hopefully I can get around to reading it because it might be the sort of book that I would want to read but like I say 
this is a vast TBR of books to choose from. So if I'm in the mood for it, I will definitely pick it up, but I'm really excited to read it all the same. So I have a jar of archived ebook releases. So that's books that I got from NetGalley, books that I get from Edelweiss, and any other sort of, like if the authors have sent me um, their ebooks or like any other sort, basically ebooks that I've received for review. I have this jar of them where if I don't get around to reading them I just basically put them in the jar and every month I pull one out so that I can get around to reading that book. And so this month I actually it, I pulled out a sequel but I do own the first book and I think the first book I did have as an ebook review as well that I didn't get around to reading because I used to purchase books that I didn't get round to reviewing as a way of supporting the author and the publisher as kind of like an apology, like, sorry, I didn't get around to reading your book, but I've supported you all the same. So I bought Avalon by Mindy Arnett and I received this as an ebook from Edelweiss. And look at this, guys, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous cover. And I have had it since the release and I haven't been able to get around to reading it, unfortunately. However, I have a very, very love relationship when it comes to HarperCollins book releases. Like, I love HarperCollins American book releases. I don't think I've found one that I haven't loved. So, I have high, high hopes. They obviously know the really awesome books. I used to love watching, like, epic reads um, on YouTube when they just used to do, like, their latest, like, because of books that are coming out soon. And I'd be like, yeah, I used to love watching them. And they stopped doing it. And I'm, I'm so disappointed that they stopped. But yeah, this one I think is um, a sci fi. I think it's a sci fi. Um, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm excited that I managed to pull this book out. And hopefully I can get around to reading this book. So every month I always like to pick at least two books that I would love to read during the month. There's always like an urge that we get of books that I love to read. And this month I've got an urge to read a thriller. And I've also got the urge to read this book. I just, I haven't found time to read it yet because of like review books and stuff. Um, and the same for the other one, just I've been pushed back because of review books or books that, I, because I'm a mood reader, if I'm literally in the mood to read a certain book, I will have to read it. So like, for example, when I watched the Two of the Boys in Love Before movie, I had to reread the book. It was an urge and it, my mind wouldn't let me read anything else. And then I had the same when I had um, the urge to reread City of Fallen Angels because of the Mortal Instruments and then I got so into it that I just didn't want to read any other book. So I, I get like that, but it's the only way to keep myself reading. Um, so I've got these two books, the first of which is Final Girls by Riley Sagar. This is a thriller. I remember actually getting this for about 10p from Waterstones because I had money off my Waterstones card and a £10 gift card thing to use. So I literally got this book for like Tempe or something ridiculous like that and I'm loving the pink and the black edges but my good friend Minx Laura she is awesome you should definitely subscribe to her she always watches my videos and she's so lovely she always leaves a comment on my videos and stuff and she, she always makes me feel really good I love watching her videos like it always makes me feel really happy inside and it sounds daft but it's true and she recommended this book to me and I feel bad that I haven't read it yet, but like I say, things just happen. So I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that I can get around to reading this so that I can at least share my views with Laura and be like, oh my God, this book, or like, why did you like this book? It was horrible, but I don't know how it's gonna go um, with things, but we shall see, we shall see. So I'm still looking forward to giving this book a read all the same. And the other book that I would love to read in September is All Your Perfects by Colin Hoover. I believe I put this towards a challenge in the Emojiathon. So hopefully that will also spare me on to read this book as well. But this is her latest book release. I think it's about somebody that's in a marriage already. Um, and it's just all the things that go with it. So I mean, really looking forward to seeing how this one goes. So every month I always try and reread a book and the reread that I have for this month because there's no books really that are on my TBR that I'm rereading. So I've put Ellen and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I would like to reread this. Next of all I have some books to unwrap. Well one in particular and what I do is I use my random generator spinner and as there was up to six 
I have to sledge up to six. So the numbers that I've got left is one, four, six, and five. So let's hope it will land on one of these for the month. Six. So that's brilliant. Just to show you, number six was the one that spun on. This is number six. So I'm gonna unwrap it now. I don't like unwrapping. Yeah. Don't like to ruin the pretty paper. And by the way, I have no idea what books are inside. Ooh, well, that's interesting. Okay, cool. So a Cara Hope Fletcher book has come out, all that she can see. I haven't read this one yet, but I'm intrigued all the same. And I think this has got like baking involved. So I'm really excited. So that's my unwrapping book. So out of my list of 30 books to read before I'm 30, I have selected Island Happily Ever After to go towards this, as this was on the list. From my list of 18 books to read in 2018, I have selected Anna and the Swallow Man, by Gabrielle Savick. This is my ARC edition. This is also towards one of the challenges for the Emojithon, so this will be perfect. From my first ever book haul that was on this channel, I have selected Wither by Lauren De Stefano to give a read. And I've had this for many years now since I started Booktube and I still haven't read it. So this is an embarrassment sort of book, but hopefully it spurs me on to read it. And for my second ever book haul, I have selected 0.4 by Mike Lancaster and I haven't managed to read this either. So unfortunately, my camera's battery has just died. It was a long enough video anyway, and with all the vlogs and stuff, I hadn't had time to charge the battery. But I just wanted to finish up this video before I actually head off to work. So I'm nearing the end of it though. And from my adult TBR jar, I pulled out Assassin's Creed. And this is actually by Christy Golden. This is the book to the film. So this is not the actual like Assassin's Creed book series that is out. So this one is the book that came out. So it's really cool because I love Assassin's Creed and it's probably a perfect time to read it because of the new Assassin's Creed video game, Odyssey, which is gonna come out pretty soon. Out of my physical review books TBR jar of like the archive review books that I didn't get around to reading, I managed to pull out And I Darken. Now I had this as an arc but I traded it off at the time and I managed to get the physical gobby of it as a hard bag and it is beautiful. Why is there a spider web on it? That is disgusting. This just come out of the garage like what the hell. So this is this is a massive book, but I've heard really really good things about it. Like really really good things. But it's so massive, it's so big. Oh my god, it's like huge. But yeah, and I've heard that the female protagonist is like amazing. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a read. And then the last challenge that I managed to do for this TBR was I used a random generator and I'll place the picture over here of the number that came up and believe it or not it was the devil's number because 666 came up and the book that corresponded to it was In the After by Demetria Lunetta. Now this I think was another book that I purchased because I didn't get around to reviewing it I think. If not, then it was a book that I got. See, this is the trouble. I don't remember because I've had it for so long. And I feel like I've had this for probably three years now. So it's really bad. It's really, really bad. The only way is actually looking at like the publishing year. That's like an indication. 2013. So that's actually five years old. <laughs> so I've, I've, I've actually had it like even longer. Wow, I can't believe that. I'm pretty sure I got this like near towards the release date as well. Oh, it's crazy. It looks really chunky, but there's only like f over four, well, it's like 450 pages. But yeah, in the after came out and it sounds really, really cool. Like I, get, like I say, it's another like HarperCollins book. So yeah, it's about time that I get around to reading it. Do you know what guys, this TBR contains a lot of books that I've had for quite a while that I haven't got around to reading and I'm really excited about this TBR as well because there's loads of books that I really really want to read and 
I'm really happy that I can pick and choose from these books. And with the emoji thon, I can always like change the challenges around to include some of these books as well. So anything is possible because challenges can change for things like that. So yeah, I just wanted to share you my September TBR video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'm sorry my camera died. Hopefully that's okay. I'm recording with my Samsung S7, so hopefully it's all good. Um, but yeah, I have a vast selection of books. There's loads and loads of books, but I will be picking and choosing from them. And you will see the books that I'm reading from in my weekly vlogs. And I'm also thinking of doing like currently reading or weekly TBR videos as well, like maybe starting to do those, like my Monday mission sort of videos, where I can just sort of like tell you what I plan on reading during the week, what books I want to read during the week. And yeah, maybe like, I don't know. Yeah, just sort of do a currently reading sort of thing, like by the end of the week video. Just sort of a way of like boosting my videos. I might like also start doing Friday reads again, like Friday and weekend reads, so I let you know what I'm currently reading and reading over the weekend, just to keep you guys updated really, because you guys don't know, because the weekly vlogs don't go up until like a week later, so you don't actually know what I'm reading, but it's always interesting to see what I'm reading at the current time. So I'm going to leave this video now and just sort of ask you guys have you read any of these books I've mentioned in today's video if you have then can you comment them down below what you thought about them and if there's any books that are on your TBR also let me know what you guys are planning on reading in September as well as I would also like to know let me know if you are participating in the Emojithon or the Contemporarython and let me know if there's any other readathons that are going on as well because that might help to spur me on to read because with readathons or even buddy reads if you guys have any of these books Books in today's video that you've got and that you would like to read we can buddy read it because honestly it makes me read it faster and it honestly works because the pressure is on so I'm gonna leave you with this video if you have enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel then please feel free to subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos and let me know if there's any other videos you would like me to do as well any comments and any thoughts just leave them down below all of my social media links will be linked in the description box below as well as my tbr for the emojithon and the contemporary thon if you'd like to check those out but all in all guys that's it from me thank you very much for watching my videos always and i just would like to say guys your comments on my videos as of late are amazing they inspire me they really touch me every time i get a comment it means the whole world to me and it sounds stupid and it sounds cheesy but honestly it just it means so much that it just it hits me right here in my heart in the feels and i'm just like oh, it feels so good in a happy and exciting way but keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video. Bye!